So, what's your name? Faye Matthews. Very good. And what kind of organi organization are you? I work with um, senior services. I deliver Meals on Wheels, but I'm also uh, I've also worked with the Rainier Beach um, Coalition for a long time since uh, the birth of of the new Rainier Beach program. You know, being built the community center. I work with the. I used to be a kinship. Um, caregiver and I also worked with the kinship program that was working here at Rainier Beach prior to their tearing down the Rainier Beach building. Okay. How will services to the community be expanded as a result of the new Rainier Beach Community Center? Well I was so worried about the fact that our children weren't gonna have anywhere to go, you know, when they during the process. You know, and I'm I'm really happy and I'm just hoping and praying that they don't price our children out of being able to use the facility. That, you know, that's the that's been the really important part of it to me. Um, I had a difficult time with the fact that they did not have enough minorities working on this job, on this project. You know, that was one of the things that was supposed to be written into the into the build of this program, and it didn't happen. I've been in this community for over 30 years. I, I own two homes right here in the Rainier Beach area. And it's and it's really important to me to see the to it that our children have a place that's safe to you know and, and fun, you know, and that they can truly be a part of. Okay. How were community partners chosen? Or do you know? Um, the community partners were chosen by, you know, they a lot of them came forth, you know and decided they wanted to be a part of, um, like I said, Atlantic Street Center was uh, already, uh, prior to the, this, they were already in the, uh, they, they did the Family Center here, they did the CPR and the Teen Center and all of that, and um, the orchestra was also a part here, where I have four grandkids that are in the orchestra, and, and with Miss Pam, so they, they were a part of that. Okay. How do you want to see the community involved in the new Rainier Beach Community Center and how will the community benefit? I'm hoping that that, that they attend the regular Rainier Beach Coalition meetings and continue to give their input on a, on a regular basis and, and watch out and make sure that it stays safe and clean and, and that the community itself stays very much involved. The store, the grocery stores, uh, all the businesses, as well as the different schools that are in this area. What programs are designed especially for the teens? Well, hopefully, you know, since, since um, Atlantic Street Center is going to be here, hopefully they're going to bring their um, their family program, and they have the actual teen program that um, that deals with young teens that mm -hmm. that have children and also like their CPR, first aid classes, you know, also their counseling and stuff like that. So I'm really hoping and praying that they bring that back to the area. Okay. How does the new Rainier Beach Community Center place emphasis on the neighborhood's diversity? Well, this area has always been really diverse. We have a lot of Africans here. They had a program here, had a swim program for a lot of the, um, the Somali ladies that couldn't swim with men at the yeah. at the time so they they opened up that program for them we have a lot of Asians in this community been in this community like I said for 30 years and so it's always been tremendously diverse and we've all seemed to work together really well and get along really well and I'm just hoping that continues okay. in what ways is this a green building oh wow <laughs> it's gorgeous you know, I was hoping that they would have some special stuff for the swimming and everything like that. And it's really, and it's just really beautiful. And a lot of our children don't know how to swim. And I'm hoping that they, they have a special swim program for minority children so that they do learn how to swim. So I'm hoping that, that you know, that it continues to bring community together and that we are able to meet here and, and celebrate all of the differences. Okay. And your name again? Faye Matthews. Thank you so much, Faye. Thank you very much for having me.